Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you for uh, joining me today for a little bit more Paper Mario with potentially some backtracking. Potentially not, I'm not sure. Um, I have been informed, which I think I already knew, that it is a holiday in the US. So anyone tuning in from the US, happy Memorial Day, I think it is. Um, that's really cool. And yeah, we're just going to kind of keep chugging through. We're getting a little bit tight on the leveling here. We've got level nine and playtime nine hours and 24 minutes. So I'm not doing very good at keeping pace though. At some point we know it's going to be surpassed because leveling up as any RPG gets harder the further you go. Um, so if you weren't here last time for part six, which I mistakenly labeled part five, the second time, um, <laughs> uh, we, made our way through Forever Forest, we found Boo's mansion, and we solved a bunch of puzzles inside the house to meet Lady Bo, who then just joined our party and started adventuring with us um, without so much as a buy your leave. And we went through Gusty Gulch to find Tubba Blubba's castle, except it looks kind of more like a house to me. Either way, we went... There, were, there was a door on the right and a door on the left, and we went to the right and we cleared out everything, and then we ran out of time. So I left the house and saved, which means I believe that the right half of the house is going to have completely reset. So I'm hoping I don't have to go back in there for any reason. <laughs> but we're just gonna, you know, see where we are and see what we do. Um, and yeah, don't, don't tell my husband, but I might have bought myself some chocolate when I was getting groceries today, so shh. You've seen nothing. So here we go. This is our lovely Lady Bo. She's a delightful friend. Mm, no, hey, Manzel, no one said anything. It's fine. Just, it's fine. Um, these guys get really upset when I'm here. Um, and so I just kind of hide. And they're, they're pretty dumb, so they just sort of leave after after I hide. So, we've been told that there is something um, important, I guess I'll say, in Tubba Blubba's room. Oh, rude. My timing was off. Um, yeah, we were told that there was something important in Tubba Blubba's room, so that's why we're trying to, you know, navigate everything. Gosh, these guys are chonky, chonky boys. Ooh, two action commands in a row. So that's never happening again. One time only. I really appreciate, chat, that, that you're assisting me in my subterfuge. Yep, never happening again. That's what I'm saying. So I'm not really worried about this fight because we have 99 star points, which means we're going to level up um, literally as soon as this fight is done. Subterfuge? Wow, rude. There wasn't anything to fuse. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I have a really fun audio problem that I keep having to like twist my earphones around in their jack because they're not like letting me hear things properly. But it's totally fine. I don't remember where we're at. Oh, big cat, you're a sweetheart. I'm not an affiliate, so you can't sub to me. <laughs> I don't have enough followers to count. <laughs> but it's darling that you'd like to. Um. Whatever choice I make, I feel like I'm going to regret it. But we'll do this. Because we just seem to... Um, yeah, we just seem to need to do that a lot. We need lots of points. Sorry, I'm just fixing some settings. Flowers! Yes, Lemon Paws, we went with flowers. Which is probably why you said that. Timing things on a stream is funny. Wow! Gosh, these guys are quicker than I am. Very unfortunate. Super <laughs> That's a cute emote. Okay, Menzel. 
I want to know where it's from, but I'm busy right now, so I will have to wait. Ooh. No? It's a new one, right, Kamenzo? Like for this year, because it's June tomorrow? Or is it an old one? Just chalky boy. They're so lazy to lemon paws. Like they're honestly the cutest, but we need to crush them all, unfortunately. Because like they're they would otherwise crush us, so you know. I'm just not doing well. That's okay. Okay. I just decided I was gonna end this battle with flower points. I'm kind of sick of losing health to failing action commands, so now at least my health and my flower points are equal. And they're still equal. <laughs> Because I got one of each. So I think I need bow next because I believe there's a couple of these guys up here. So we're gonna do some sneaking. This is where the subterfuge is and always has been. There has been no other reason for subterfuge at all this entire stream. Just this. That's the only reason it came up. A little bit, Lemon Paws, a little bit. Apparently, I've also been told that Cooper um, reminds Dread Pirate Shanks, I'm sorry, I mean Sharks, um, of Bulma from the original Dragon Ball series because of the blue and like a neckerchief. So I think it's just party members just, just be, just be like they do. I'm just going to show everybody in case we haven't seen him. That's Cooper, with the blue, with the kerchief. Here. You're delightful, little dude. Go that way for a bit. Hmm. <laughs> Lemon pause, why would I even try, though? I agree. See? Okay, so here we go. Here's the Chunky Boys in their natural habitat, sleeping. And technically, I could just sneak by him and he wouldn't wake up. But that doesn't sound like me. just doing a nap. But see, I know a secret about what's going to happen in a few screens as I'm going through, I mean, and also this. And, you know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Oh, right. Okay, hold on. I think I might want to deal with the rest of what's in this hallway first. Go away. Actually sure he was gonna notice me. Um gosh, this fight looks hard. 
I don't really have anything that can help it. Oh well. Um... I feel like I'm definitely going to miss a lot of action commands, but let's not waste a turn. Oh, wow. Wow. Just rude. That's better. Oh, that's not. It's fine. It's totally fine, guys. <laughs> I'm only at one health, you know, no big deal. No big deal. like having more than one HP. But maybe that's just me. That's just how I play RPGs. Everyone else can play RPGs however they feel suits them. I'm not sure I understand your reference there. Mr. Mr. K. Menzel. Okay. I'm gonna take Bo back because I'm going to go into the sneaky room because I think I've remembered what it's for, which is unfortunate because it involves going to the right of the house, which has now no longer been cleared out. So, oh well. Um, I don't remember if it's... So I'm pretty sure this is over the spring and this is over the table. But I don't really want to be wrong. There was something beneath us. I was right that this was over the table. So that does get me what I wanted. Which is a badge. But I do not get the shortcut of being able to bounce back up immediately because I hit the roof if I try. So... Let's just leave, because, you know. Go back to your place. Gosh, those little aliens are kind of adorable, but also kind of annoying. Weird animation. Let's just let's just jump up the stairs instead. <laughs> so you actually have a lot of leeway with these things in terms of like they actually have to physically catch you. And so you kind of have a long time, which is good, because otherwise you would never be able to move anywhere. Okay. Back to where we've been before. Just enough time for a lovely little hydrate. Um, I don't think I need to do anything with that yet. But I am going to try breaking this. Nice. And now I can just go right back up, which is great. And if I'd done that in the other order, that would have saved me some time, I think, but I didn't remember. Well, what's in this door? Oh! Gosh, 
gosh, that was terrifying. But we got a key. That's that's very exciting. He's make like the worst sound. <laughs> Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> okay, so we did the thing. Good for us. Great. Oh, another little sweetie having a nap here. But see, I need to get through this door, so... Not my favorite. I don't have a huge amount in the way of health. Six, seven, eight. I can do this, but only if I live. Which, I mean, I will, but this is bad. Well, thanks for that. really are very stressful, which is why it's quite lovely that they put a health refill, but they put the health refill on the, like, other side of the house. I wonder if I can actually get to it. Chat, do you think I should try going to find the health refill and coming back? Because all I'm seeing right now is Kay Menzel insisting that one health is good enough. Okay. I kind of want one. So... I believe it is just through here. He's on the second stair. I was excited because I thought for a moment that the side of the house had possibly not reset. But there's no proof of that. L3 fell. Ta -da! Well, now we feel a lot better. than, like, just randomly going through a locked door without knowing what's on the other side. And now is the moment of truth. Oh, very cool! So what we have learned, chat, is that exiting the house in order to save did not, in fact, reset the enemies on the right side of the house. Ow. Three of them at once. So we're golden. We can get our health refills whenever we want them. Sure, that's definitely what I did. Yep. Totally the exact command. Okay. Bridge time again. This, I think, is a really interesting chapter because it has, like, a few, like, almost mini-dungeons. Okay, 
So now we are where we were before, which is in a position to open this door. I'm probably gonna need bow actually, but I don't know what's through this door. Yeah. Great. Got some maple syrup. It's perfect. Okay. I'm gonna take bow because I am suspicious. Oh! Suspicious. So he smells something fishy, huh? So I'm just gonna hide. But I think I'm actually supposed to be sneaking. Gosh, he's so bad at this. Uh, so this is a door. I'm gonna go through this door. Uh... Gosh, there's a lot of them in this room. Let us walk very, very carefully. Now... Carefully back. Do not bump into any of the chunky boys. This is their nap time. Let them. We let them nap. Maybe actually go in the door. Oh, cool. Help refill, because we needed that. Save, because we definitely need that. Always save. Oh, there's another bridge. Getting across the house again. Okay. 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 Uh oh. Cutscene activated. Amazing. Okay. So he's gone to sleep. Now this is what we've been told, chat. This is where we are at in this story. We have been told that in this room there is a secret something that he is guarding. And there's a chest right here. You're right, Kay Menzel, that does look like a very uncomfortable sleeping position, but I'm not sure there are comfortable sleeping positions when your back is made of spikes. So... We allow it. So I'm gonna open this chest chat. And then we are going to see what happens. Because it's probably gonna be something that happens. So this is Yaki. They look like a key. They're a very chatty follower of Tubba Blubba. And they guard his valuables. And they're smart enough to know that I am not him. So, in case we didn't miss it, um, in the last part, at the beginning of the chapter, when we first made it to Gusty Gulch, um, if you remember, in and among my freakouts around Hyper Goombas, because they do so much damage, we walked past a windmill that was locked. And we didn't have a key at the time, so we just kept walking past. And now this key has very kindly informed us that they unlock that. So this is literally like 
on the other side of the map. I am on the wrong side of the map. I am as far away as you can get from that key. I'm not a liar, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're a very honest person, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So the key starts screaming. And we're just gonna leave. Kindly, he broke the third floor bridge and a little bit of the second floor bridge as well. Um, so, uh, it makes it a little bit faster for us to, you know, leave. Like, we're, ju we're just gonna get gone. We're just gonna, just gonna go this way. And then this way. Whoo! It's very close to us, chat. I think he knocked out his security. So we're just gonna leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna leave. Ah, there's some lovely, helpful ghosts. help us um but either way we're just gonna you know go Eek. oh dear oh dear oh dear ah, ah, so many enemies so what you don't want to get caught doing right now is fighting. <laughs> so we're just gonna, you know, do our best. Cause like, I can't help but feel, oh, oh, oh. that's not what I wanted to do. I could probably run away. You'd think there's only one of him. A windmill. Um, we don't need it, but let's let's get this anyway. Ha, ha, ha. Let's get this friend anyway. Let's just continue our our progress and flight. So I need you out because I'm about to fight a bunch of things that I have never fought before. So let's go into this windmill. Um, and this is a thing that I can jump on, so let's do it. And that's a goop. At least there's only one of them this time. feeling that a boss fight is happening soon, and so fighting... No entry allowed. Ha! Try and stop me. So fighting things on the way is kind of unfortunate, but... Oh, especially when you miss... There's two of them now. My health. My health, guys. Okay. 
Well, I do not, I do not want the dried shroom. Actually, I do want the dried shroom. Hold on. It gives me back one health. Might as well. Really? No entry allowed. Well, you know what, sign? I've been known to not care. Three of them. Ooh. So I'm probably going to lose some health here. Weird. I do not like that action command. That's probably fine. charge up thing, but he doesn't have very much health, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. I keep opening the wrong menu for that. I really do only have maple syrup. Absolutely! No entry allowed! a thing? Who are you, it says. What? Mario? Did, did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tubba Blubba? Someone spilled the beans that the Tubba Blubba in the castle is just a shell, and I'm controlling it from here. You can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body. And now we fight. So this is very much like a Dorian Gray style. No, that's not the right reference. There's a literary reference in here somewhere. 50 at attack power 6. Heck, man, that's a lot. And I can't use my hammer. Well, let's start with this. So, he's gonna prepare an attack. And I'm gonna switch to bow. And then... We're gonna hide. And then his attack misses. Now, the trade-off is Bo doesn't get a turn this round, because she has to recharge after that. Uh, but still, overall, I think you would probably agree that better... better than getting walloped by his attack. I think we might have a villain in our party. So he's again charged up, which is fine. I can still attack him, and then I can hide. It's really so useful that he has a charge and I have a recharge. It just works out, you know? In the meantime, I can just whittle away at his health a little bit at a time. Woo! Until he decides he wants to fight me, which is fine too. Huh. So. <laughs> that might be my favorite 
favorite attack. <laughs> I wish I could show it to you again, but now he's all charged up, which means now Bo has to hide me. I've got him down to 16. He's got me down to 13, but you know. All right, all right. So if you missed it the first time, chat, this is when you want to pay attention. Bo has an ability called Snack. When you use it, she winds up and she just wallops enemies with her, you know, ghost fist, I guess? And it's pretty adorable. So it just ran away. Uh, okay. So we're, we're gonna follow it, but I think we're first gonna improve ourselves a little bit. And we're gonna do some strategic thinking. So this is one of the reasons why it's good to destroy the Hyper Goombas on the way in, because you do have to go back out in the middle of this fight, and having to fight them on the way out if you didn't fight them on the way in is a little bit more difficult. So we follow him up, and he runs out of the windmill. So we're gonna run out of the windmill. Why not? And it looks like Tubba Blubba has caught up to us. And we get boss fight 2.0. So I'm gonna tattle on him. entirely sure what he does, but um, he's not invincible. Ha! I dodged. Uh... Now, to be fair, they do know that this is a long fight, so this one isn't hard, but like... Boy, is that one of the more convoluted boss fights, I think, in in the Mario RPGs. <laughs> so we've made Tabba Blubba sad, which means he lets all the ghosts go, because although he likes eating them, they apparently are not something he digests, and they're already dead. So they're all fine. And we've entirely crushed his spirit. Wow. Apparently he ate ghosts because the ghosts used to mock him. And now we actually get the option of having Lady Bo continue to come with us, which of course we're gonna take because it is hilarious. And we are rescuing a third star spirit! Yay! Yay, another star spirit. Oh my gosh, a giant purple star. That's actually like not not accurate, K Menzel. Okay. End of chapter! 
Guys, look! We finished another chapter! So after we solved the secret of the invincible tub of blubba, we set free Scholar! Kimenzel, don't you mean ending chapters is tight? Aw, with Tub of Love and just a bad dream, the boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Perfect! So we finished a challenge, and that means... Do we get a cutscene? Oh, that means I need to practice my voices. I wonder how Mario is doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that tub of lava since we didn't help him at all with this one? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? Twink, you're out. Great influence. If Mario managed to beat Tub of Lava by now, Bowser and his followers will be really, really mad. Don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. So for context, for those who have missed some of the earlier chapters, um, when I first started this game in part one, all the way back in part one, um, some of my friends were in chat and they convinced me that I definitely needed to voice Princess Peach as one of my D&D characters, Bryn, who has a vaguely Gaelic accent of non-committal origin due to my inability to hold it steady for any great length of time. Um, so that's the reason for the voices. And what we learned after Princess Peach got kidnapped this time is, boy, does this princess have a hankering for adventure because she immediately tried to break out of her room using a secret passage to her bedroom. This is her bedroom, and there is a secret passage that leads directly to it. Sketch. And she just kind of wanders around the castle and, like, tries to, to do stuff. So let's see what we gotta do this time. The first time we read Bowser's Diary. Oh. And now we have the epic villain music. It can't be. No, no, no. Explain that again slowly. Your wretchedness. I keep trying to tell you. Tubba Blubba was defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange because you told me he was invincible. How could you beat someone who's invincible? Stomp, 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 stomp. Because he's so mad, he just doesn't notice that we're behind him now. <laughs> Grr, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tubba Blubba not quite so invincible and then he beat him. Gah, I despise Mario, really. Your filthiness, we have to come up with another tactic and quickly. Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Okay, that's a place we've never heard of, so, so thanks, Granny. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah, great villain plan. Kimmy Koopa, you gotta find out what Mario hates and... Thinking? Thinking? Uh... <laughs> Her face in that moment, I wish I could freeze on it, but just that like, oops. <laughs> For the love of... What? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? <sighs> no, wait. Hang on. This is actually good timing. My mischievous princess, he calls her. Ooh, spicy. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which one of these things does Mario hate most? We've got the options of Goomba, Clubba, and Mushroom. So I'm gonna say Mushroom. Mmm, I see. Excellent. Is there another thing that fills him with dread? We have Fuzzy, Hammer Bros, 
or a Thunder Rage. And I'm gonna say Thunder Rage. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these things does he hate? We have a Pokey, a Koo Patrol, and a Super Soda. I'm gonna say a Super Soda. Excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. Gwahahaha. Be sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that? Get going immediately. That's that's the best I can do with that. Of course, you're Garolinus. Mario's really in for it now. Or, or it's... Hmm. Started to wonder for a second there. But then again, King Bowser's ordered this, so I have no choice but to obey him. And then I think they're probably going to throw me back in my room. Because I have served their purpose. No, not again. So that's a lovely little chapter break cutscene. And now we get another cutscene where Scholar the Star Spirit is going to power us up a little bit. So we're about to get um, a little bit more star power meter, star energy, that's what it's called. And now we can use Star Storm, which lets me attack enemies. And that's actually kind of useful. Ooh. So we have now saved three star spirits, which is great. Um, and we get to make our way back to Toad Town. I'm not entirely sure of this, but I'm pretty sure that there's a quick way back through the forest. That means we don't have to, like, go the whole way. Uh, save block. Just because... Probably should have saved after I got more health, you know. I like to live dangerously. So the forest is this way. And so there is a trick when going through the forest. Oh. Uh, I have the wrong friend out. Ah, so here we are with a little mini boss fight. Delightful. So this is Junior Troopa. He hates us. And he tries to attack us every time he sees us. So he's gonna attack us. And I have the wrong partner up, because I actually need to... Oh, he has wings now. Very cool, very cool. This is going to make him a little bit more difficult to fight, but that's okay. So, I'm going to check him out with Tattle first, as is usual. So he has 40 health, which is more than I have. He has 5 attack power, which is more than I have. He has one defense power, which is more than I have. And he has wings, which means we have to jump. Which sucks a little bit. So what I'm going to try to fight him with is um, the shell shot. Because that will do five damage to him. With some consistency. Um, do I have any items? Not really. Not not useful ones for this. But I can help out a little bit. Oof. Thankfully, I can also like heal myself in junk. Because I think Mario is just superfluous in this fight. This is really about hair carry. <laughs> K 
carrying me hard. <laughs> um... Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna use a little bit of star energy to give myself a bit more health and a bit more, you know, flower power. Oof. Doesn't last very long, but you know. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Just, just keep on going with this health. Healthness. Oh, I almost missed him. Which would be very stressful. Not my preferred. That does let me use up some mushrooms, which are not as helpful as you get later in combat and you have more health. Ooh. Okay, so I think this time I'm actually gonna jump on him. And then we will hope that I hit with Paracarry. Very nice. And down he goes! Delightful. Wow, I am only four away from another level. That is very cool. Um, maybe let's go with purple. So when you're going through the forest... you're supposed to take, and if you take the wrong one, hilarious. That will never get old to me. If you take the wrong one, it's supposed to reset you at the beginning, and so this, to me, feels a little bit like a question of whether I can remember what the what the wrong one is, because I actually do want to be reset at the beginning. So now I'm only one star point away from a level one. Which is probably good, because my, my everything is very low. So this might be the wrong way. Let's go. Let's see what we find. No? That might have been the right way. Ugh, rude. I'm trying to get lost in this forest, guys, and for some reason, that is not happening. Yes, I did it. Ta-da! And then you just leave. You, you get to just leave after that. So that is a bit of a faster way back. I would like to save. To take my Goomba friend back. And. Wait, do I have a letter for him? I might have a letter for him. Side quest distraction! Yep, Vice T and Cooper. Oh! Well, thanks, Feisty, for letting me know that there's shy guys everywhere. Awkward? Amazing. How many star pieces do we have now? 19! Ooh, that's enough to actually trade for something good. Okay, so that shy guy just stole the frying pan. Delightful. That's a thing. And that shy guy just stole a calculator. Uh... These, these ones are just being jerks. Get back here, you. 
Oh, come on. The 3D space in this game, man. Okay. Leave her alone. Because I have something I need her to plant. Perfect. Three out of four. We're doing well on this particular quest. And now... You know... Priorities and all. We're just gonna ignore all of the chaos happening in the town. Get rid of this guy. And take a nap. Nap time is always, always the right way to spend. Always the right way to spend time when everything is in chaos. Let's do a quick save. Is there, is there anything going on with the post office? Okay, well, a shy guy just stole a bag of letters. So that's exciting. Ah, now we get another secret. If you keep going around and around to the red palm tree in the distant desert town of Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. Well, that's something. So there's a bunch of shy guys running around the town. But there's also some sewers we could explore. And we have a letter we could deliver. And um, we have a palm tree to explore. So several, several lovely explorations. I feel like... I could give those a try and slightly ignore the town's current trauma for a little bit. So this is the new place we can explore, but I'm actually first going to head to the old place. So I'd rather run my errands first. It's so much calmer in, in Koopa Town. So much calmer. I'm gonna give this guy a ladder. Mr. E, who lives in the desert. Blue turban in front of a toad house. Perfect. So now I have two reasons to go to Dry Dry Ruins. Oh, side quests. That is over here. So this is a red palm tree. It says keep going around and around. I think that's this. There it is. There's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. Interesting. Well, that's very useful information. So I'm gonna try to find a toad house. Uh, nope. I think I walked past it. So there's the items. Oh, maybe it's this way. Yes. Blue turban? Yes. Okay. One more letter delivered. Miss T. 
near the dojo. Gosh. This is such a fetch quest. They haven't even given in me given me anything for all of this work that I've been doing for them. Rude. Okay. So now there's two things that we can do in Toad Town. And then also this. I actually do really enjoy fetch quests, Kimenzel. Um that's part of the reason that I'm so willing to participate in this. These ones especially are kind of interesting and like curious. Um but there are a couple that feel very not worth it. So we've been told there was a house with a whirling roof. Hmm. House with a whirling roof. Whirling roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. So spin jump three times in the house. Two. Three. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah, I should. So that got me the quick change badge. Very worth it. I can't wear it yet, but maybe soon. Um, I think I would have to take off a couple of things. Probably. Yeah. So quick change actually lets me change my party members without using a turn. So it really, really helps certain combat. So when I level up, which should be soon, I am going to work out how to get that um, because that is going to really help me in combats moving forward. Now I was told that there are three pretty sisters in front of the dojo in this town. Oh! Hi, hi Twink! Okay, let's get interrupted by a cutscene. We found out that you defeated Tub of Lava. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh, yes. I've got new information about the honorable star spirits who are still imprisoned. Have you ever heard of Shy Guy's toy box? No. No, I haven't. But it seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held there. Where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea. Well, that's fine, Twink, because there are a lot of Shy Guys around town right now. So, you know. Oh, this isn't the dojo one. I went to the wrong place. Very exciting. I meant to go to the other one. The good news is this isn't a speed run. That's the dojo. So these are three very pretty sisters, supposedly. Uh, so we give this one a letter. have much reason to go to dry dry outpost right now. So I'm probably... There's star pieces. There's spin jumping. we can trade for stone pieces for a bit, actually. Though this is really just gonna make me feel like I don't have enough batch points. <laughs> Very pretty. I always love purple grass.
Oh yeah, peekaboo. Heart finder, flowers. We don't have enough for the power plus. So we have enough for one of those guys or for peek. I'm gonna trade him for that one. For now. Lovely. Cool new badges are always, always delightful. So, now let's do some sewer exploration. And then we can try and figure out what's going on with these shy guys, depending on how much time we have. I'm probably expecting to fight a squid, so maybe... I know my health is fine, but I just delivered a lot of letters and I would like to not do that again, so I'm gonna save. <laughs> And here we go! Spin jump! Delightful! Uh, so we can't go that way yet. I think this pipe just takes us back, but I'm gonna double check. That's a useful thing to check. Yes, that pipe just takes us back. So this is the way we want to go. <sighs> well, that's awful. So this is a dark Koopa and these are the worst. And I've already screwed up because I knocked this one over. Um, they have eight health. To defense. Oh. No, never mind. These aren't the worst. These are the grinning ones. That's okay. That's not so bad. I just need to knock them over. There are Koopas in these games that can attack after you've knocked them over. I thought they were the purple shelf ones. They might be the blue shelf ones. Not that Dizzy is a great status. It's actually like the worst status. But these guys are still very beatable. Cause you just keep knocking them over. And then you get a whole bunch of star points that let you level up. You know, just like normal. Just like real life. Actually gonna take off post call and we're gonna put on a quick change because that's better than taking off some other Ooh, three of them. So that one is not... gonna do with dizzy attack, so I'm actually gonna leave them for now. Oof. That is a lot of attack, though. And now he is going to. So now we need to try something that I'm bad at. But I succeeded at that time.
And now we've gotten rid of one of them, so this battle becomes a lot easier. This is gonna go, but I will try it. Ugh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. This battle's gonna take a long time. Because I don't have a plow block. Very nice. So I can get rid of, or how much FP do I want to use for this? So if I do this, I'll get rid of two of them right now. It seems pretty worth it. I already love the quick change badge. just so much more useful. And then, I can just change her back. Ta-da! Very nice. That could have been much worse. Oh, and now it gives me a pow block. I got a pipe, which I think is going to take me to Boo's Mansion. Yes. I'm just going to take this opportunity for a health refill. And a save. Because I'm going to try exploring through the next door. I like having full health if I'm going to do that. I do not understand what I'm supposed to do. There's a sneaky block there, which I might be able to get to using Paracarry. And then, get to here. But all of my friends are leveled up, so I can't actually use this right now, I don't think. Because I'm not sure if I can do a double level up yet. Boy, 
am I curious, though? Let's see. Oops. Oops. Things. that this is here. But yeah. We just found it early. So that's nice. And we can't go that way. Good, good. So we still have a few more minutes which means I am going to try and figure out if I can what's going on with all these shot guys. So let's keep looking through the town. seems to be the only shy guy in this area, which is good. So I'm going to check by the docks. Well, I haven't checked by the town entrance either. So let's go this way. A shy guy in the shop, apparently. So now he's leaving. Oh, that shy guy just stole a dictionary. What's in that pipe again? I really don't remember. I uh, can't do anything over here yet. Oh yeah, that might be the pipe to my house. Which doesn't matter at all. Okay. So we've seen Shy Guys steal a bunch of things. So we're going to try to figure out where they are. Um, because that will probably start our next chapter. That is still so suspicious. What's our item sell look like? Oh yeah, actually. I'm gonna turn in a couple of things. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so he's stolen a key, uh, which is super unfortunate because I wanted to give some items in, so I'm going to try doing that at the other place now. Nice to meet you. 
thanks for tuning in and thanks for the follow. Ooh, I can leave 19 more items. Well, I'm definitely gonna leave these apples because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I need them for baking. I highly doubt I'm gonna use a bulge from any time soon. So that's fine. That should be good. Okay, so back to what we were doing before, now that we don't have apples in our pockets. Ooh, that's cute. I want to actually... Nice little cute sets of hello emotes there. That's delightful. Um, okay. So, we are trying to figure out how to start the next chapter of this game. We just finished chapter three. We beat... We, we beat up the invincible Tava Blubba, and then Lady Bo let us have the star spirit that she kidnapped. Um, yeah. Um... And then we came back, and apparently, uh, shy guys have kind of taken over the town and are annoying everybody. Just gonna quickly double check if there are any of them on the screen. I don't know what that is going back and forth. Okay, doesn't seem like it. But why not? Oh, that's a cute one too, K Mental. I like your emotes. I could be wearing the shirt that has a Cayman's Love emote on it, but I am way too warm. So... What do I do? Okay, well that doesn't help me at all. There's just some randoms in that house. Turns up the AC. You don't have to, I just need to not work out right before streaming, is what, is what this comes down to. Oh. Uh, well, that's suspicious. So, I walked into this empty house, because it's an empty house, and a shy guy came in after me. So that's a little bit sus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my friend Bo, which is a skill that I just recently learned, and I'm gonna disappear. And that shy guy comes back in. It's not suspicious at all. And goes through the wall! That's my celebratory spin jump. Well, well, well. I think we found something that may or may not be a toy box. So, let's see what happens when we dive right in. Chapter 4! So we have figured out how to start Chapter 4, which is really good, I think, because we are coming up on the end of stream. Um, so, let's see. Oh, lovely. Wow. So this is some music. This is some color. And this is a save block. I actually do quite like this music. That is very lovely. Um, so now that we have rescued our third star, star spirit, um, we figured out how to start chapter four, which means that seems like a good, fresh, fresh way to start. Um, seems like a good, fresh way to start our next stream. So I will be back playing more of Paper Mario this Thursday, um, which is, I think, June 3rd. Um, 
I am aiming for two o'clock. I do have a friend who might be asking me for a favor that day, and I'm not sure yet, which means I might have to change the time last minute. Um, but I will try and post that on Twitter. So directly above me right here um, is my little Twitter handle. Um, and you can follow me on there. I, I do tend to tweet when my streams go live. Um, and alternatively, I don't actually have a Discord currently, um, so <laughs> I should have I should have coded your Discord into this game as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be aiming for Thursday at two. Um, I try to stream regularly Mondays and Thursdays at two, so if you ever miss one, you can just kind of pop back in for the next one. I do also have oh, true, hey Menzel, that is true. Your Discord is sneaky. Oh, oh well sub for access. Um, the other thing you can do, if you're curious at all about any of this content or about watching someone who's mediocre at Paper Mario, I do have a YouTube link uh, kind of on more on that side of the screen rather than my Twitter link up here. Uh, over, over there? Over there? Over there? Over, over there-ish? And I am posting my playthrough such as it is. Um, so I will be back Thursday, hopefully at two o'clock, but time to be determined if it has to be. Um, I also stream regularly as part of the group. I'm, I'm just trying to make this work. Yes. I also stream regularly as part of the group Top Down Tabletop. Um, we play D&D &D together. Um, there's three of us regularly, four of us usually. Um, if if we can get all four of us, we have a bi-weekly Wizards, all Wizards homebrew campaign, and then we do other things. And this weekend, and the reason that I'm mentioning this, is that this weekend, Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually running a one-shot for this group, and it's going to be ridiculous. It's based on the Wild Wild West as a location, and every player has to build a wild magic build of some kind, and so we're expecting it to be a little bit chaotic, but it should be fun. So if you're interested at all in D&D, if there's any overlap, oh, see Jinx, nice to see you. You stopped by in time for me to raid somebody else. I'm sorry. Oh, Petulant Cobra, <laughs> the tears, the sadness. <laughs> It will be up on YouTube. Top Down Tabletop also has a YouTube, or um, you can like watch the VOD instead of live if that's a thing that you do. It might be hilarious. It also might not be. It depends. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm sure somebody will tweet about it at some point for me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Everybody just like popping by at the end there. So I'm going to take a look. Um, it looks to me as though the only channel that I follow right now that is live is Kelsey. So I'm just going to double check. Because last time um, she was doing something special. But I kind of want to see what she's doing because the game that she was playing last time looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, she is playing it. So we're going to go visit her. Oh, a rerun? Ah. Uh, then we might not. Hmm, yeah, okay. Then that's not really worth it. Okay, so we don't have a raid today. Um, but thank you everybody who stopped by. Thank you for everybody who watched and who, for whatever reason, seems to continue to have some vague interest in watching my, my mediocre play. Um, we we have started chapter four now and so we'll see how that goes um and i had a lot of fun so hope to see you all again on thursday we're aiming for two o'clock but again i'll i'll tweet out using this friend i'll i'll tweet out if i have to change that time because i'm not entirely sure yet um Happy Memorial Day again to anybody who's tuning in from the U.S. Um, and I hope that you guys really enjoy your holiday. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. Bye for now.